Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. That's paularcher.com. Just pulled over, stopped for a couple of minutes to uh, head over there for, for a moment or two. And uh, got a couple of ideas for you I wanted to share with you very quickly. One actually came to me at the weekend when I was reading about Phil. Poor old Phil. Phil Neville, that is. Now, for any of you that know, watch the England versus Italy match on Saturday. Uh, Phil Neville was the um, audit, uh, auditory commentator. And he was criticised, I mean chastised actually, uh, destroyed almost on social media for his boring, monotone, dull voice. People <laughs> were saying some really nasty things, some trolling going on as well. Now, okay, poor old Phil, we all feel sorry for him, but there's a couple of things here which will help you as salespeople or sales managers. Number one is the inner game. Now, the inner game, of course, is how you cope with things like that. Phil's had some overt criticism um, some pretty nasty stuff as well on social media, Twitter and things like that. And he's had to cope with it. Yeah, he's been quite good. He, he made a joke about it on the, on the TV last night in front of his um, fellow commentators. And he, he actually tweeted the fact, you know, thank you for the feedback. Um, but he's got to cope with it inside. And as salespeople and managers, we often get uh, feedback, criticism possibly, by bad coaching. Um, or we make a mistake or something goes wrong and we feel bad about ourselves. We've just got to learn to have a trapdoor in the back of our head, as the Dandy Warhols once sang about many years ago. We've got to get rid of the old stuff. Learn from it, yes. So if something bad happens like that, Phil needs to learn from that and then make the changes and then move on and get rid of those thoughts. It's a hard one for Phil though, I'm sure he'll, he'll struggle with that. The second learning is trigger points. Now, if I were in the business of uh, voice coach, for example, I, if I train people uh, to do you know, voice, use their voice properly, which you know, I, I do in my public speaking stuff, but you know, a real professional voice coach, I'd be giving Phil a ring or tweeting him or or at least emailing him contacting him because he's on the lookout now for some coaching of his own because he's got to do something about his voice because it's not good I have to say poor old Phil so the point there though is if you're in business and, and, and you're selling your services or your products to other businesses you got to look out for these trigger points they can be something that's happened inside the company uh, such as you know a merger or something like that or it could be something happening outside of the company in the industry maybe some new regulations some new laws or something that triggers the company to realize they have a need for whatever it is you sell or, or whatever product you have. Phil has a need for voice coaching. If I was a voice coach, I'd be giving him a ring straight away. So poor old Phil, I hope he gets over it. He's a decent fella. Played well for United many years ago in Everton as well. And uh, he got sacked as well from Man United in the, in the summer. <laughs> so he's not doing very well, is he, poor old Phil? I hope he gets over it. A couple of ideas for you. I hope you found that useful. PaulArch.com. Paul